so here I am in London again and uh, you can see what it looks like snow in London isn't a common occurrence it being a little bit warmer than outside especially not lying on the ground I, I can't remember when I lived in London ever actually seeing over those whole number of years that I lived here anything like snow on the ground in the middle of London lying there um, obviously it's melting fast it's only about minus one minus two here I've got my hat on but this is just to show you the this is Oxford Circus obviously where the police like to sort of hem protesters in from all sides and not let them go to the toilets if you are going on a protest and bring a plastic bag um, or a double plastic bag or just wear a nappy um, and have enough food and water with you to be able to sit out a uh, kettling um, it's my advice play it cool to sit down and relax bring a cushion um, or you might not be able to have children if you have to sit on something like that for a um, for a while especially the men and uh, so there's the University of Arts that's the main part of Oxford Street down there we've got John Lewis just visible further you've got other of the department stores that this street is famous for um, over in that direction towards Sutton Court Road other things Top Shop and all the other you know most fashionable things um, and here's Regent Street there's a big advert for Narnia there's one of your London buses it's about nine o'clock in the morning I'm I have a meeting at 12 down in not far from here but uh, because of the vagaries of the transport system and yesterday everything kind of seized up I thought I'd come in early just in case I had to use a big buffer. Well, I didn't need that buffer, so it's already just about 9 o'clock and I'm already next to where I need to be at 10 o'clock. However, I remember something similar happening a year ago. Oh, I went to see somebody before the conference in exactly the same place I'm going to now. I managed to get myself hopelessly lost because of the way things are numbered on the strand. Um, and went completely past it and then ended up with less time than I thought so I'm probably going to take the precaution of going where I need to go first checking exactly where it is and then popping into a cafe not far away so that I'm, all, I'm completely under control I think I want to get back out up this way because there's too much slush here uh, my taxi arrived when I was going out to Poland I lined up my nice winter shoes I bought in Russia um, and my summer shoes I didn't put away as I should have done so when the taxi arrived 10 minutes earlier in, in Warsaw I uh, simply grabbed the coat and shoes that were nearest and left and I've got my less than best or less than coldest um, coat and I've also got my less than decent well they're, they're, they're they're not very bad, I mean, you could get a lot worse than that, but uh, they're not fantastic for, uh... It's interesting, I don't know either of those characters, which goes to show how bad my kanjis are. Um... Um, so I'm not really very well dressed for it, but uh, probably about the same dressed as most of the locals whereas I could have been a lot better dressed for it but minus two isn't a big deal we get that all the time of course I probably have to put up with minus two for months and months of the year whereas here it's a bit of a shock in the middle of London for people that are usually here so that's Hanover Square named obviously for the Hanoverian dynasty and the city of that name which has two ends rather than one which is what this has got There's the Chelsea Building Society, named for President Clinton's daughter. And here I am. OK, so the main parts of my session is to look at the foreign branch exemption, cover the background, the scope, and some particular issues around losses. As regards background, um, in short, it's part of the move to a more territorial approach to UK tax. Um, which is believed to be 
something which will address some of the EU challenges that have come uh, to the UK corporate tax system over recent years. Also part of the government's agenda um, to be the most competitive tax system within the G.